Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and today is day two of going bald. Yep, it feels extremely refreshing still and shower only took me like less than five minutes without the hair and I also got my hair treatment done and I can't stop rubbing my hair like throughout the entire day because it was so spiky and today I will also work on how to donate my hair to the local organization especially in Malaysia uh, specifically uh, most of the information will be about in Malaysia but I believe it's the same process if you are uh, in other countries as well you just have to find out is it the similar process in your local organization so in Malaysia we have uh, Locks of Hope which is the NGO that helps to uh, collect donated hairs and also fundraise to fundraising funds to create uh, hair wigs for cancer patients and I think I will be donating my hair to them because I don't know anyone else that does it here in Malaysia and I stumbled on their Facebook page they have a free site so I first went to the free site and then I went to their I got directed to their Facebook page to download the form in which I have to fill up and send the hair in alongside with the application form to them. I would say the information is a bit here and there. The Facebook isn't entirely updated. I'm trying to look for the 2021 form and I have to scroll through their homepage in order to get this, uh, this link that they posted with the English and Chinese uh, application form for you to fill up. I will put the link to download the form in the description down below should you ever think of donating your hair. From the link posted down below, I have downloaded this uh, hair donation form by the Locks of Hope, uh, which is in English. So all I need to do is fill this up and then I will also need to pack pack my hairs here you know, pack my hairs in the envelope and then send it to the address stated here i will also put the address at the description down below for your convenience to download the form and to send to send the envelope to the address and that is all the steps that are needed uh, in order to donate your hair you don't need to go to a salon unless you want to get a nice haircut. If you are just shaving it like I do, you can just simply do the donation steps by yourself without the help of a salon, especially in this uh, pandemic. Like nobody wants to meet nobody. And they have a limit, they have a set of requirements that are required before you snip your hair off. Please ensure these few things. The hair requirement that's needed is at least six inch or 15 cm if you if your hair is dry or your hair is colored or perm or rebonded please donate after six months later after all these things that you have did to your hair the next step is to ensure you tie with a ponytail that means you tie the hair in a ponytail with a rubber band and cut it so i think like you can just tie your hair in a ponytail that's what it means with a rubber band with a rubber band and then you cut it snip it so this this length uh, has to be 15 cm minimum or six inches minimum in order to donate so the local uh, their recommended partner salon would have done all these things for you without your own hassle to go and tie it and whatnot the entire process is simple and easy to follow and it's just a few steps like I feel like it's just literally sending a mail to your friend and say hey here's my present I miss you so much and here's a gift for you on a last note I feel like all my videos are gonna look like this for a while and I can't wait to make more videos for you guys see you so yeah this is the amount of hair that I got from and it's a total of one two three four five six seven eight nine ten probably like ten strands 
10 strands of hair because uh, we wanted to get the maximum length so yeah